and we are live welcome to cold brew today we're just gonna review one video let me turn this down it's kind of loud button is it this one yeah it's that one i hope you guys can hear me hey i'm justin the founder of video. i hope you can hear me all right guys um we're gonna go there's been a lot of backlash recently he was embarrassed over i didn't want him to put the makeup on me yeah. so i let me let me slow this back down because I usually watch my YouTube videos at like point one point five sometimes one point seven five sometimes two because it makes the time go by um, faster. Am I wasting that much time? I could absorb the information at a high rate. You know, I usually watch these two hour, four hour long streams from um, a lot of these content creators in about a half an hour. Sometimes even shorter than that. But anyway, so there's been a lot of backlash lately surrounding uh, Jonathan Majors. He, if you don't know who, that, who he is, he's an actor, uh, a black male actor um, that was just recently in Creed 3 that fought, um, what's his name, uh, Apollo Sun, uh, the character that Michael B. Jordan is playing. Um, he's also in Ant Man. Um, the what's the title of Ant Man? Uh, fuck. What was the title? I forgot what it was called. But anyway, so he's blowing up. He's under the spotlight now, and he's using a controversy to blow up his brand even more. And he's been in a photo shoot where people saying that he's kind of making men because uh, he looks he's physically fit. He's uh, handsome, and um, he just seems like the, like a black Chad, kind of like, you know, like a masculine man. Then he did this photo shoot where the pictures came out a little flagrant, you know, a little flamboyant. So uh, they're trying to say, like, you know how Hollywood has been deemed um, pretty much, like, for any black actor or talent to make it, they got to wear a dress or be... Um, feminized pretty much so they're saying that he's following the script and this photo shoot is it now we don't know if that's true or not but one thing we do know is that the pictures look a little suspect um i know he's just doing it for controversy blow up his brand also it has an artsy feel to it like a lot of people that are heavy into certain artistry they play with uh narratives like, they, they try to pull you outside of the thinking of what this is supposed to look like. You know, you got this masculine man that's fit. He's supposed to be doing manly things. But in the photos, he's a little feminine, and he's he's playing with an idea. That's the art part of it. So you're supposed to just look at it and come up with your own idea or what how you interpret it. And that's what everybody's doing. So that's what they're calling as backlash. But everybody got something smart to say about it. Stop putting people in a box from, like, what you think they are. Stop doing that. Y'all putting people in a box from, like, a small clip or y'all don't even know this guy. It's a photo shoot, okay? And it got everybody talking, so he did his job. But we're going to watch the, like, I, I like uh, Corey Holcomb. He's a comedian. He got good uh, point of views. And, um, like, he always... He, he's not one of the panders. He doesn't pander. And he always speaks the truth. So let's see his take on it, what he got to say. Because a lot of people have been talking about this. A lot of people, there's, you're going to see a lot of videos out there about this. All right. And this is one of them. So we just we just watching what Corey got to say. I haven't even seen this yet. So, late. I went over to my brother and I told him, it's not nothing you did. It's just I, Alpha Hokum, do not allow a man to oh, do alpha. that to me. And people could call me whatever they want to call me. But I remember when it happened to me on Russell Simmons set. I didn't know. I thought he said Alfred Holcomb. I was like, Alfred? I thought your name was Corey. He said Alpha. Uh, alpha. Like, pretty much he's saying, like, they wanted to put makeup on him because he's going to be on TV. And he wasn't having that. 
and a lot of people done got violated around Russell Simmons. But did they accommodate you and get like a woman to, 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 to do your makeup or yeah. touch up? Oh, okay, my bad. It it was a man coming in to do his makeup. I mean, get do makeup for him. So yeah, that's kind of weird. Well, there you go. Yeah. You know what's interesting? It kind of reminds me of. Hold up. Am I doing a reaction of a reaction? When Dave Chappelle would talk about uh, when he was on Blue Streak, you know, the Martin movie, and they had a real funny idea. And no, they let's were like, pick this oh, up. We are going to wear this, this up. dress. And he went to his trailer, and there was a dress in his trailer waiting. He was like, Yeah, uh, I'm not comfortable doing that. And immediately they handed him another scene. You know, it's like it's like yeah, in certain you. situations you will be tried in that way mm -hmm. just to take your temperature and see where you are. Yep. See you what know, kind of dude you are. somebody who's been an actor, it's never happened to me. Uh, but not yet. I can tell you that that element exists. Wait till you, know, you I get to the top levels big. of Hollywood either. So I don't know exactly what's going on up there. But from what Corey talks about next, you know, it seems like that there is an element of that that they want to try to talk about, especially heterosexual black men in particular, and what they have to do to be. You know, at the top tier. And it was his first day on set. I got a heart. What's, so you felt bad. Oh. I didn't want him to sit over there and think I didn't like him. It ain't that I don't like you, bro. What if you could make a Come on, bro. What is this? Hour flying drones? What if you could be faster and safer in your job by using drones? People in all industries. Bro, it's just you can't right. touch me like that. That's understandable. All right. right. That's understandable. I just say it. This is so perfect going into the segue to the next story. People will say Corey has a problem. Well, not the wise people. Wise people know what I'm talking no, about. You know I, mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, I can understand you, innocent, Everybody you know what I mean? Understand. I can understand you. Yeah. No, but I'm saying, like, let's, this next story, I have to talk about. D had some on this anyway. I am wise to what this world is doing to masculinity and to the brothers who are in the world. They are basically... In Hollywood. Yeah. It ain't just Hollywood. It's all over the world. All over the world, there is a campaign against masculinity. If mm -hmm. you are a manly Thank man, you. You must be withered down to dinosaur status. Yep. Ain't that many of y'all left. That is the intentions of... Yeah, I can tell you, a lot of people's careers probably went differently based on that fact alone. Um, it's a serious issue that doesn't get much play, you know, because you're automatically called... Um, you're automatically called into question about your motives when you bring up a topic like that. But, I mean, I think this is kind of something that's happening now. Men's issues are being talked about more freely. And I know... This... Freeze frame right here is not good for Mr. Cor Corey Holcomb. This ain't a good look. Corey's a comedian, but you know, a lot of times he hits. Talking about literally where he froze this shot, like the screen, how his face is, and his eyes, and his mouth. It's not a good look. On things that are dead on the money, that are relevant to men and masculinity. And it's. Some of y'all making these videos talk faster. I got this sped up media and he's and still real large. And I think it's important that, you know, more people talk about this stuff. Get you know, it together. It, it just gets brushed over in the gloss of, you know, what it is, you know, what, what the industry is and, and how, you know, successful and how much money they can make. But it does really paint a specific picture that being a man, being a heterosexual man is not okay. You know what I'm saying? That somehow your existence as a heterosexual man mm -hmm. is oppressive to other people when, you know, like you don't have any bias in your heart. Like, you know, some of the, I'm not going to say like, you know, some of my best friends are, you know, what? marginalized communities. <laughs> some of my best friends are in the LGBT. But, you know, to a certain extent, you could have no ill will. You got community friends, sir? And you can be labeled and your career can be ruined in a way. Just having a masculine presence in some places. True. It ain't just Hollywood. It's all over the world. All over the world, there is a campaign against masculinity. If you are a manly man, you must be with a dad down to dinosaur status where it ain't that many of y'all left that is the intentions of especially hollywood and entertainment i can prove it we got pictures of men that wind up on these covers of magazines that are all backdoria style uh. this is what's out lately here's a brother jonathan majors jonathan majors who has been in a whole bunch of roles and we rooted for him we all rooted for him. When I saw the heart of they fall, oh, yeah. that's when I really saw him do his thing. Oh, he wasn't I liked that. it. The movie was good to me. But I am aware of certain things that Hollywood 
does when it comes to dealing with our brothers. You have to pass a certain test. You have to be part of some type of humiliation community. Humiliation meaning Bagdorian style. This is Corey Holcomb with over, I don't know, 20, almost 30 years in the game. And when he says something, you can dismiss it. But you also have to look at how his career has went. Like, he hasn't been box office gold. They haven't tapped him on the back to be part of a billion dollar franchise. You know, like, yep. certain things have suffered in his career. And you wonder if it's because of his stance on stuff like this. Yep. And he's very what outspoken. He was not willing to do to get to that next level. You know? And um, I think the thing about, you know, the Jonathan Majors cover is, you know, it almost seems like he's just, you know, he's a free spirit, which he might be. But that in itself lends to what ever agenda that they're trying to put together about him that he's this non-threatening uh you Come know on, y'all gotta stop doing that muscle bound man whether he's threatening or he's non-threatening did he hurt anybody he didn't hurt nobody stop looking at clips and footage and trying to assess who a person is that's so ignorant why are you doing that he seemed like a free spirit because he did this photo shoot. I mean, I wouldn't have done it, but maybe they're like, hey, you do this shoot, you know, we got a $50 million movie for you. Then would you do it? I don't know the details behind it. You know what a free spirit is? You put that on that man? I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say he's a free spirit. I wouldn't say he's not. Wouldn't say anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, they're trying to soften the image that he's built playing these masculine characters. Um, you know, I don't know what his lifestyle is. You know, apparently he has a kid and uh, I think a girlfriend or a wife. Um, but so that's not saying anything about him per se, but just the situations that are acceptable is what where the question lies for this type of stuff. You know what I mean? My brother right here from here to there, I don't know. Just like I didn't know who the Harker Bay is. If the Harker Bay ain't gay, he got snapped like a But what I'm saying is... <laughs> Here's a brother for these pictures. Hey, go, hey, go back to the other picture. You know what's crazy about this picture, Cole? Go back to the other picture. Those are inside that article. Right? Huh? Those are inside. Listen, I didn't see all these pictures. I didn't see all these pictures, okay? They're coming out with extra pictures. Go past this demoralizing you know, picture. You know what's crazy about this, this picture? This picture is demoralizing. It's, it's, it's a pants, pants boots. It's pants, called Panther Boots. It's like girl boots. wearing. Yeah, like, right. it's all connected. You know you had a jacket that goes perfectly with that little outfit right there last night. <laughs> 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 well, you stupid. Hey, man, this is bogus. This is bogus. And what's, t what's even what? more interesting on top of the whole thing? I'm sorry, Mark. Listen, I'm not saying I would do the shoot. I would probably be like, hey, we got any other clothes around here? I'll do it naked before I wear a do shoot like that. So I'm not saying that I'm, I'm like defending what he's what this this what these pictures look like. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is that all these conclusions everybody's jumping to is also bullshit. Is that they they had a bunch of other photos. They still have that vibe and that feel, but they, they but they chose this one and another one from the same outfit. To, I, I don't know. I, what, I don't, what, I mean, what makes it even worse with the, with the, with the other than the, what he got on is the face he's making. Yep. But people are saying that he, the person is, he looks like that. Like yeah, he's making one face. That's the face. He's making the look. That face. If you, if you look at all his pictures, they all look, look, they look like that. It's just his lips. It's, no, he, he fucking them up right there. You think so? I'm fucking them, B. Yeah, he fucking them. Yeah, he definitely. He fucking them, B. Yeah, he definitely. Before this photo shoot or this cover, this ebony issue, I mean, you know, you were okay with the guy, right? His acting and everything is good, no? No, he's a good actor, but I'm saying, um, my brother, my, my wise brother, who was brought to me by wise people, gave me some wisdom before the show. I just didn't know the name, but I saw it. What's the name of the first thing that he was seen on? I saw Love, Love Brad. Brad. He did good on that, too. I never saw it. Damn good, damn good. That, see, they shut it down in the first season. Bad yeah, he was great on Lovecraft Country. Um, He was also been good in The Heart of They Fall. As Corey mentioned, and you know he's getting great reviews in Ant Man, Quantumania as well. So mm -hmm. you know, Quantumania. solid actor. You know, I can I can speak to Jonathan's there actual pedigree as an actor because we actually had the same acting teacher. Uh, he went up to Yale and headed wow. up the program uh, and taught Jonathan. That's so tough. you know, I know what he comes from and what he's capable of doing. But you know, you just as you move up in this career, you don't want to be derailed. You won't, don't want to fall into the traps that everybody falls into. And you know, 
it is what it is. You know, he's going to do what he wants to do. He's a grown man. But, you know, it's it's best to not have to fall into the pitfalls. That man, she rocking this iconic hoodie right here with all these rappers on it. That's what's up. He got flowers on his shirt. What is that? I don't know. But this dude's talking slow. God, dang. That's what we're falling into. Anyway, let me know what you think about it in the comments. As long as you're comfortable in your sexuality and you're not being pressured into doing something that you don't want to do as a man that might, in some people's view, compromise your masculinity, you know, there is no wrong decision. Um, Jonathan Majors is a grown man and he should be able to make his own decisions at this point. But, you know, it's it's good to be aware that there are there are other forces that might actually play into Listen, as long as you're comfortable in your masculinity and you're secure, you're good. Except if you're doing shit that is not congruent with being a man, a heterosexual man. You can't be getting duped up the butt and then say you're comfortable in your masculinity, but but um, you're not gay. There are people out there that do gay porn and they say they're not gay. And they, they do gay stuff in, in the porn. Activities, what you do, the actual act, that's what you're doing. You are that, you know. So I don't have a problem with that. I'm just saying, like, don't try to, don't do something and act like you ain't a part of the, that. So uh, also... Just because you're a grown person don't mean you have the mental fortitude to be responsible or to be rational or to even understand, okay? Like, growing up, that's just time. That doesn't mean you mentally structured properly. You could think through the stuff. So, people saying that is annoying. Well, he's a grown man. He should be able to make his own decision. No, no, no. That's, that's not how it works. A child can make their own decisions if they've been conditioned to learn and they've been taught how to uh decision make proper decision making even though they don't have the the front part of their their brain fully complete if they're conditioned well enough they could probably make the best decision better than some adults but anyway i think he's done what you call this. being comfortable in your manhood and in your sexuality like comment subscribe hit the all right like he said like comment subscribe I got to put out more videos, man. I'm just like, I had an exam. I've been studying for a month for this exam. So I just took, I had two exams. I just took them. So I have more time now to make more videos and put out more content. So, um, man, y'all just like, comment, subscribe. Give me some ideas. You know, I'm more of like a, like my, the content I create is more like, um, what I'm watching or what I'm seeing and then and then I give you feedback off of that but anyway alright y'all I'm out guys um, I did realize that my computer my camera froze halfway through that so I mean, you couldn't get the full reaction, but my, the audio is still good, all right? I'm not going to do the whole video again. You get the point. But anyway, like I was saying, like, comment, subscribe. Um, as soon as I get enough people to go live, then I guess people will let me know in the chat if the camera froze. Because right now I got no way of knowing. Unless I keep a window open over here. Maybe I'll do that. That way y'all can see my facial reactions when I say shit. All right. Peace. God damn.